Hey guys, I'm Axel Walters and I'm here with a new video. Today I'm going to go over a quick mastering with the stock Ableton plugins. Firstly, I want to immediately apologize for my English, he is not very good. So do not criticize me about this. You can download this Ableton rack absolutely free by clicking on the link in description. Don't forget to subscribe my social page and to my YouTube channel. And let's start. First of all we start off with the premaster. It could be any track of yours and you want to make sure you have plenty of headroom. I would recommend it at least 6 dBs. Let's go through the plugins. We have an AQ8, AQ8 again, glue compressor, multiband compressor, saturation, AQ8 again, glue compressor and another limiter. Ok, this track is my bootleg on the track the XX Crystallized, you can listen it on my SoundCloud page. Here it is. Ok, so go through each one. So we start with the AQ8 and we are going to put in on mid side mode and we are going to start by rolling off at 100Hz using X for curve. All right, and next we move to the AQ8 and this time we are just going to roll off at 40 Hz, so we are going to take out some of the subsonic frequencies, mm, maybe 30, maybe 40 Hz. Stereo mod. This will give your mix a tighter sound and it'll make the compressor work left harder and also roll off at 18 kHz. Take out some of those harsh frequency. 18, 19 frequencies. So next we have the glue compressor and we are going to play with the threshold. So we get about 3 to 5 dBs of reduction. I'm going to do this as I play the clip. Thank you. 
so setting about 3 or 4 dB so we're going to normalize the volume and bring it back up using the make up game button up the most important thing is to listen and make sure it's not over compressing because you don't want to do that Cool! The next thing we have a multiband compressor. It's a stock preset called the OTT. I think it stands for over the top so you don't want to mix in too much of this. But it just gives you mix overall more polished sound and it gives a little bit of volume too. So I usually mix this pretty lightly. Maybe like less than 20% so. It's kind of just adding to the mix overall. Alright. The next I usually add a straighter, this one called a bit warmer. It's a preset from the Ableton stock plugins, so right hit that and also again you want to do this subtly and I'm going to bring in about 10 or 20% at most. And again remember listen, you don't want to hear distortion, if you do then you just bring it back down. So adding a lot of color and saturation to the mix so we want to control that soul. The next step I am usually throw in another EQ. And I use the mid-side to take off some of the lower start of information. So you just start around 120. Mid-side mode, side control and listen. good to me and the next to another glue compressor catch more of the peaks again 3 to 5 dbs it's a good number to start with so i am going to do it as we play the clip again i am using a slow attack and quick re-release and we are doing a 4 to 1 ratio So here I have the limiter last and here's where we bring up the overall volume right now without the limiter as you are hitting. We are picking around negative 2.2 dB on the master 
and so we have a little bit of every room and we are gonna start brining this up slowly. We are getting about 3 degrees of reduction and we can go a little bit more actually so again 3 to 5 is a good number to start with. Now we are a good volume and then let's play the before and the after. So there is a done, thanks for watching my video, I hope you like this, thanks for watching and see you in next time.